Watch it guys, today we're going to troubleshoot a broken PC. PC is not turning on, so let's go ahead and fix this issue. I'm going to take you through some of the steps that you can use to try to fix your problems. I'm not worried about this magnetic RGB strip here, it's just fell down from up here. Uh, but mainly the PC is not powering on. The person said they powered on the PC, walked out the room to get a drink, and literally it tripped the whole uh, flat, it stopped working. So that's what we're going to be troubleshooting here with this PC. So the first thing I want to do is try the power switch here. We're going to power it on. I've got a known good power cable plugged into the actual computer here. So I know the power cable is working. I've got the HDMI cable in and the power lead in. It's all switched on. And uh, what I'm going to do here is try to power it on to see whether we get any sort of life on the PC. So it could be a dead motherboard. It could be a bad case switch here, or maybe it could be a bad power supply. There's loads of reasons what it could be that's causing this problem. So I have changed the cable, and I know the cable's good. Uh, so we need to check that power supply. And we also need to check the case switch as well. And we also need to check those uh, extension sleeves on the actual power supply there. There's no lights being displayed on the motherboard, which is a sign that it could possibly be either a dead motherboard or bad extension cables or a bad power supply. So we need to work out which one of these it is. It's pretty straightforward stuff and I'll show you the whole process on how to quickly troubleshoot something like this. So first off, let's bypass the power switch. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove the power switch cable from the board and jumper it with my uh, screwdriver here and it's still not turning on. So the power switch cable, which goes to the motherboard, goes to the front of the switch on the case. And again, this is plugged into the motherboard. I've removed this so I can jumper it with the screwdriver. When you touch the two pins on the board, it will turn the PC on. If you don't feel comfortable using the screwdriver touching the motherboard, then you can always use one of these power switches with a power button on the other end of it. So you can plug this in and push the button and it will tell you if the power button on the case has failed. This is a common problem that a lot of people uh, fall foul to, but you can use a screwdriver just to jump on those, whatever you feel comfortable with. So we know the power button on the case is working. Next, we need to check all the connections to make sure they're all firmly pushed in. And again, this does have power supply extension cables, which could have failed. So these could be faulty. So what we need to do is uh, bypass these or check these to make sure they're working correctly because the power supply might be working but the extension cables may have failed and I've seen this before and you won't get any sort of power to the PC itself. So we need to check all that out. So what we can do quickly is get a PSU tester here as well. These are very simple. I'm just going to pull the 24 pin out and I'm going to plug in a power supply tester in here. What this is going to do now this power supply tester is going to tell me whether the power supply is dead. So I'm going to quickly plug this in to the 24 pin here to see whether we get any sort of lights coming up on the power supply connector. Now, remember what I told you before that the actual extension cables could have failed. And if you try this method, it may trick you into thinking the power supply is dead when it's actually the extension cable. So be careful when you're doing this type of thing because it can lead you down the wrong path. So what we're going to do here is just see whether there is any power there and there is no power. Now I already had the power on, which should be turned off, but it's not so much of a big deal. So let's just uh, take this off and move on to the next step. I would like to use a new power supply to bypass the power supply in there and test it properly to see whether it's working correctly. So I'm going to be using this Seasonic 80 plus bronze. It's the S12 uh, free 650 watt. It's not a fully modular power supply, this one, but it is a very well known trusted brand from Seasonic. So it's got a five year warranty on here. And again, always buy a well known uh, power supply. Don't buy some of these cheaper brands. So you can see here, I'm just going to get this out of the box and we're going to go ahead and uh, bypass the power supply that's in there. Now, I also want to test these extension cables. So I'll leave them in situ. And this will make the whole process a lot easier. You can see there is 645 watts on the 12 volt rail there, which means we've got plenty of power on that 12 volt rail. Some of the cheaper versions will give you hardly any wattage on the 12 volt rail. And they just add all of these up by using some of the lower uh, 
voltages on the power supply. So let's check uh, the power supply uh, extension cables here by unplugging them from the power supply that's in situ and using the Seasonic one. So I'm just going to change out the CPU and the VGA and also we're going to change out the 24 pin connector. Luckily they're all around the back here so I can just quickly unplug these and plug in the free cables that I need to check the power supply to see whether it powers on the PC. Now I've got a suspicion that it is probably the power supply but you never know it could be a bad board and uh, we need to check all of these. So let's go ahead and get these all plugged in and then we can put power to the power supply and then give it a power on and see whether we get any sort of lights showing up on the board because we know there's RGB on here so that RGB should be in displayed when you push the power button and we know the power button is working okay so we're basically working through a process of elimination to find out what is um, working and what's not working so I've got in now the VGA cable plugged in here for the power to the actual uh, graphics card here I've got the 24 pin plugged in and I've also got the CPU connector plugged in here as well so we've got the three main cables that we want to power on this PC I've got the known good uh, cable plugged in to the power supply and I'm going to power it on using the new C Sonic power supply to see whether we get any sort of uh, issues if it doesn't power on then it could be a dead motherboard and there we go we've powered it on and now we can see that we have RGB display on the uh, lights here so we know that it is a bad power supply so we can now move on and replace the power supply because we know the power supply has failed and we also know that the extension sleeves are working correctly now another big problem with power supplies blowing up like this is that when they blow up they can literally take other components with them especially these cheaper uh, power supplies uh, that people use so we need to be very mindful of that so let's remove the power supply by removing the four screws and we'll move this out of the case and put in the brand new Seasonic 650 watt power supply because it's already plugged in and in situ you can see it sitting right there I'm just going to slip the old one out and put the new one straight in I will rotate it around the other way and that should save a bit of time so it shouldn't be too much of a hassle to replace this so let's go ahead and pull this one out now this is a pretty basic build so it's not going to be too troublesome to replace the power supply especially with these extension cables it makes life a lot more easier so all I need to do is slip this one out here and cut that one cable tie and the power supply is out. You can see this is a Shakun power supply. This is not even a year old as you can see here and this is supposed to be a 80 plus gold rated power supply. So this one's a 550 watt uh, 80 plus gold power supply. So that's two Bit Phoenix gold certified power supplies and two Shakun 80 plus gold plus power supplies that have failed within one year or less than one year. All four of those power supplies failed and basically tripped the whole house. And again, I'm not really too sure on what the reliability is on those, if that's going to happen within one year. I've never had so many power supplies fail on me in one year as these two brands here. So what I'm going to do is slip the new one in with the fan facing down and I'm just going to go ahead and screw this in. There's four screws on here. All I need to do here is because they're not modular cables, I need to tuck these into in front of the power supply here. It's the only way you can uh, put these in. Thankfully, this is quite a big case and they should tuck in there just nicely like so. I've left them over on that side there because I'm going to tuck these in a little bit later on uh, over the other side. I just want to test it first. So let's go ahead and uh, power this on so we can test it to see whether we get actual display and to see whether the PC is functioning properly and nothing else is blown on the computer. So I'm going to power it on here and then push the power button and we can then see whether we get uh, power and display here. So everything is lighting up like a Christmas tree as you can see here as it should do and we're now getting some sort of display uh, coming up on the screen here. We should see something coming up real soon and hopefully everything is working okay and you can see it's now powering on. So 
And what I will do once I get to the desktop is I won't bore you with this sort of part is I'll run some stress tests to make sure the GPU is fine and everything is working okay. And there's no other issues with the PC. And that is pretty much it. That's basically how we resolve this uh, PC issue very, very quickly. It doesn't have to be very difficult to troubleshoot a dead PC, uh, but that's basically how you can go about uh, troubleshooting it and fixing your PC if it's broken. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a great day. Thanks again for watching.